communication from to, from Jal to Ryder from Jal. I'm writing to let you know that I've been receiving a lot of messages of congratulations from resistant members who've heard of our victory against the Archon. It's not common knowledge, but it's hard to keep good news like that from spreading. We are hopeful people who are granted new hope. Who are granted? We are hopeful people who are granted new hope. Imagine the excitement when we conquer Meridian and heal the cluster for all our people. Some nights I can't sleep because I'm dreaming of it. Communication concerning movies, which we haven't, we still haven't had our movie night yet. To Ryder from John, Ryder, Liam's talking about a movie night, but when he explained it, it sound, sounded lacking, at least compared to Angaran bids. Perhaps I can add what's missing. Come talk with me, Jal. Are we not going to have this movie night until after the game is beaten? Meet J Okay. We came to Andromeda because we had a contribution to make. The cat won't take that away. I wonder if Kylo has anything to say after saving the Salarians. A real victory. Our Ark back at the Nexus. I'd almost given up hope. The cat won't touch the Parchero again. The militia will see to that. Losing Pathfinder Rekha is... A blow. I know. So many Salarians joined the initiative because of her. I know. But you did your best. Did you need me? Thank you, Kalo. I'm glad you understood. Tell me something else about the ship. O'Connell, our systems designer, was running a power distribution model. How power moves through the ship. But he forgot to lock his terminal and we, um... <laughs> added a few embellishments. Oh! For two days, poor O'Connell was convinced that turning on all the bathroom lights would overload the engine core. Tell me something else about the ship. I'm all out of stories for now. Sorry. You'll have to make some new ones. What do you think of the rest of the crew? I think that PB needs to read a few safety manuals. Mm. I'll let you concentrate. You know where I'll be. Did you have anything else to say, Suvi? I don't know if Suvi has anything new. I need a break. Do you need a break? Let's go for a break. Okay. Sure. Okay. Care for some tea, Ryder? I'd love a cup. It's a cultivar originating in Sumatra. My own personal stash. Once I run out, that'll be it for Earth Tea. Mm. I keep having these thoughts. I'm never going to taste this again. I'm never gonna see that again. Um, regret's pointless, though. I don't want to seem harsh, but there's really no take backsies with this one. I know I can't do anything about it, which is why I wish my brain would behave itself. The universe is like a giant tapestry. I love following its threads, but it distracts me from the whole picture. My family was right there, but I was too occupied by the abstract to appreciate them. From everything you've told me, you're here because of your family. Your love of science, doesn't that come from them? Aren't you with them every time you chase down a new discovery? Poetic. Ryder, that's beautiful. My mother made the implant in my head, and my father created the AI that uses it. I haven't lost them either. Thank you, Ryder. Thank you, Suvi. That was very sweet. Oh, hey, Pijak. Better not go running off on Kadara. Might end up in another cage. Or someone's stew. Hey. It looks wise. And those are tool-using paws. Are you sure it's not more intelligent than us? It probably is. Hello, Ryder. Your right. choice aboard the Solarian Ark was not an easy one. Your father approached such moral quandaries differently. Really? He was a soldier. Dad was used to making snap life or death decisions. I now know that colored his perceptions. Alec treated death as a problem to be solved. I have now encountered it several times. His death, and your own. Pretty much twice for me, too. Any insights? And what have you learned about dying from us? The self is forged by experiences. Death is the only experience that ends the self before it's understood. Mm. So, is death completion? Or an expression cut short before it reaches its full solution? giving a different answer. I can see why it fascinates you. Thanks, Sam. Nothing more. Thank you, Sam. All right. Let's go and... We're going to hang out with Gil, but we're not going to hang out with Gil. Let's hang out with Gil. 
Uh, not in a hoodie. Jacket, short sleeves, long sleeves. Let's do short sleeves for right now. I want to look a little bit like, look like I'm trying to, you know, trying to look a little more presentable. Let's go hang with Gil, cause it's been forever since the last Gil thing. That is one complaint I will make, is that they need to put in more things, more moments with Gil and Suvi. You know, our non-squad members, they could have, they could have added more to compensate for the fact that they're not on our squad. They should have added more. Reyes had a good amount. and Podromos. They gave Reyes quite a bit. It's all concentrated in one section, but... Gil Brody, the friend. Okay, so they weren't, when they were talking about the friend, it wasn't referring to us being friend-zoned by Gil necessarily. Hopefully. Exit. Let's bring... I mean, let's bring Korra and... We haven't had Korra and Liam together in a while. Let's bring these two. Back to Perdromos. Descent is green. Coordinating. Path is calm. Cool. Not very far at all. Can I go in the water? I don't think I can. <sighs> Fine. Kill. Kill, 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 kill. Hey, Gil. Looking as handsome as ever. I'm good. You're here. Yeah, so listen. She's only got a minute or two, and she's in rare form today, just to warn you. She's here kickstarting repopulation protocols, reversing the chemical procreation blockers for colonists. Calls it boosting the batter. She's gonna talk your ear off about your civic duty as a man. My civic duty as a man. Well, that's her job. That is what she's here to do. The woman takes her job seriously. Hey, if you're cool with it. I'm cool I with mean, it. I mean, makes no never mind to me. No chance I'll ever oops a baby into the world. Mm, it true. just brings something to mind about us, though. Us? Yeah. When I'm this attracted to someone and they seem receptive normally, well... Things start happening. Kind of. I'm trying to give whatever this is between us the thought and attention it seems to deserve. So I have to know: Do I introduce you to Jill as my friend who likes to flirt, or my guy? But we haven't even kissed yet. Hint, hint. Nudge, nudge. I don't know. Chemistry really matters, and we haven't even kissed. We can remedy that right now. Oh, Gil! He finally made the first move. So, what do you say? Skylar was kind of waiting for. Wait, it's it's about time, Gil. I was waiting for you to make the first move. How awful would it be for be like, yeah, let's just be friends? <laughs> no, I'm your guy. I'm your guy, Gil. Thank you for asking me. That was very sweet. <laughs> and the kiss was sweet too. I'm your guy, Gil. All right, then. Let's get this over with. I mean, get this show on the road. Not that this is an act. Wow. He's so adorable. You've got Gil tongue-tied. <laughs> what did I miss? Ah, Jill. About time. This is... Save it. 
I asked you both to stop by, remember? Ryder, pleasure. I know we're all very busy, so I have only one question for you. You want to boost my batter? What? <laughs> no, I'm not gonna ask her. No, I'm not gonna ask her that, especially not someone that Skylar just met. Sure, go ahead. What are your intentions with my boy here? My intentions... I'm not gonna be coy about this. I'm gonna be straight up. My intentions are good. I'm pretty serious about your boy. He's sort of my guy. <laughs> what? What is it? Nothing. It's just... I see you two... I have a really good feeling. Oh. Oh, that's so sweet. Oh. That was a sweet scene. Oh. Hooray. That was, I like that. That was sweet. Can I, can I, can I, can I talk to Gil more? Gil, tell me you have more things to say after that. I kind of wish I had more to, I could talk to Jill a bit more than that. I hardly got to know her though. This is the best. That's like his bestie, his woman. Important to her. Kind of want to get to know her more too. Ascent is go. Leaving Atmo. All clear. Leaving Atmo. Now come on. Please tell me that Gil has something to say. I think wanted to speak to you. Okay. Well, I just had my. Pathfinder, you have new email. Fine, let me read the new email first. No, I don't. Stop trolling me, Sam. That's not a bad, that's not funny, Sam. That was a prank. Please tell me that 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 Gil has something new to say after a kiss. After that, after we became a thing. Cause otherwise, like, I don't know, it just doesn't seem to make that wouldn't make much sense for him to not say anything new. Hey! You're two for two. What do you mean? Two times face to face with the Archon. Two times you spit in said face. Figuratively speaking, of course. Mm. Come up short once, it's game over. Gotta keep your win streak going then. Bastards trying to exalt us all, huh? That's what all this is about. Could be. Typically, I like high-stakes games, but I'd rather be sitting at the kiddie table this time. Good talking to you, Gil. Anytime. Is that it? Come on, Gil. Hey, good looking. What can I do for you? Nice. There we go. I kind of wish I had more, more of a conversation. Can you tell me anything else about Jill? It was great meeting Jill. Any news from her? You know the look PB gets when she finds something new? That greedy kid in a candy store look? Yeah. Jill's all goofy like that lately, which means there may be some pregnancies cropping up on Eo soon. Mm. After all her hard work, I'm so happy for her. How about poker? Regale me with some poker wisdom. How about I test you? Okay. Final betting round. You know you're beaten, but your opponent's been cautious and checks to you. Do you bet or check down? You know you're beaten, but your opponent's been cautious and checks to you. Do you bet or check down? Make a strong bet. I try to figure out the right bet to make them fold. That's the right move. Just don't try that with PB. She's the reckless type. Thank you. Did our tangle with the Archon's ship leave the Tempest in decent shape? More than decent. Stealth drive worked like a charm, then bat out a hell drive kicked in without a hiccup. I see no reason to detail the shit storm of lightning quick band-aids I had to apply at the time. All that matters is she met the challenge, and now I know exactly how to keep her fresh and frosty. How about me, so, Gil? win-win. How about Skylar, Gil? Can you keep him fresh and frosty? Are you and Callow getting along any better? I doubt we'll ever get along, but yeah. That fight was just a blip on the radar. We're finding our way working together. It's an exercise in tolerance. For both of us. Go easy on the guy. Don't need a tense pilot on the stick, you know? Sure, sure. I sometimes forget that others don't let things roll off their shoulders as easily as I do. 
So long as mm. I can slip in an occasional snide comment, I'm good. Um, there's so many things in that entire, like, from that entire conversation that I could have talked about, but I'm not going to. Good talking to you, Gil. Anytime. Good talking to you, Gil. One thing that this is missing, just like in Dragon Age Origins, is the ability to kiss your significant other. Or give them a hug or something. They should, once you get into a romance, you should have the option to do that. Just like in Origins. But no other, no other Bioware game after Origins has ever done that, which I think is a shame. It's simple, but it doesn't, I don't think it would be that difficult to add in. I don't know why they, they took that out after, after, or, after Dragon Age Origins, I don't know. Now that we've spoken to Mr. Gill, my Gil Pill, let's talk with everyone else. So nobody else seems to be around except Jal is there. You realize that even if I do find it, it's going to cost you. And you know I'm always true to my word, so just get it done. I'm hearing the cat activities down. I bet the Archon's still nursing his wounds. That means he can be beaten. The cat can be beaten. People are waking up to that. Didn't sound like you were discussing cat over comms when I walked in, though. Wasn't. I have a friend keeping a lookout for a lamp. One brought from home, but stolen in the revolt. Hmm. I didn't think you were so sentimental. I'm not the only one. Suvi has her father's antique instruments. Cora, her Asari prayer book, and Liam has the junk that Liam collects. Like his couch. These things are important. They remind us where we came from. I know what you mean. I never want to forget what I left behind. Even as we look forward to the future. Yes. So what's so special about this lamp? It's awful. It's got a butt naked Asari for the stand and she's <laughs> holding a moon. One of your prized possessions is a really ugly lamp? The foreman at my first job had this lamp. When he was mean, I'd focus on it so he wouldn't see me upset. Now I keep it so I remember where I started. Most of my life was doing stuff to survive, taking shit from assholes or being one. I don't have to do that anymore. I can start over. Something honest. Do you really want to start over? After everything you've been through? I don't know. The point is, I have the choice of changing if I wanted to. For a while, I didn't care that I'd lost the lamp. Everything was a mess and it just didn't matter. But we've made progress, Ryder. Small things matter again. People are daring to dream. We'll get you the lamp, even if it's not the same one. We'll make you a new one. If we make new ones, We'll have to get you one, too. Oh, boy. That's just what I need. Naked Asari lamps. Still thinking about the Turian Ark. Mason and Avidus. Oh. I hope Avidus is doing all right. Time heals all wounds, as they say. Heals the wound, doesn't erase it. Yeah, that's you true. You don't lose someone like that without scarring. So why weren't you on the Turian Ark? Our dad left Palavin with us long before the Ark even existed. I don't know if we really count as members of Turian society anymore. Mm. But who needs all those rules anyway, right? You probably have work to do. We can chat later. You know where to find me. Thank you, Vetra. Ciao. Liam's idea about watching vids together. Yeah. Movie night? He delayed again, out of respect for Reka. Mm, good. From what I've seen, your vids are flat. They're only seen and heard. Really? Angara vids use uh, tiny electrodermal signals. You feel it through your skin. Whoa. I spoke to Gil. We have time to rig up a system to mimic it. If we can acquire the right components. That actually sounds exciting. That sounds amazing. Let's do it. The components we need should be sold on IR. Mm. Let's be vigilant. That is kind of amazing. Wow. Oh my goodness. Wow. You can feel the movie. 
goodness gravy. Move your arm again. Readings won't change, Doc. Your prosthetics are sinking properly. Your neuropathy-induced pain levels are... consistent. Hey, I'm used to it. It's okay. No, it's not okay. You keep fighting smart, you hear me? You don't have much left in terms of organ redundancies. Uh, <clears throat> Nah, it's fine. I don't mind. Everything okay? This looks... like a lot. It is a lot. Just nothing he didn't already know about. What do you mean? He's fine, just... old. And missing too many parts. And too stubborn for his own good. That's track. You love me just the way I am, Doc. Hmm. Don't get off that table until the scan is done. Can I ask what happened? Arm, side, hip, part of my leg. Strain balancing threading across my spine. It's all prosthetics and implants. That's... a lot. Made it through the Krogan rebellions. Watched my culture disintegrate. Survived centuries as a merc and all sorts of pirate shenanigans. A thousand years of combat experience. All it took was one idiot with a pack of frag grenades. Ouch. It must have been hard. Yeah, it got pretty bad. I hit some dark moments. Implant rejection after implant rejection. Prosthetics not sinking properly. Mm. Everything hurt. A lot. All the time. No purpose to anything. How did you deal with it? I didn't. I fell right into that pit. Almost. But then some shaman shows up drops the tiniest little baby girl in my lap. Mm. This one's dying, he said. Not worth the trouble, he says. Useless is what he meant. That's awful. It's practical. Krogan gave me a purpose again. Wasn't just about me anymore, so I got help. Learned how to take care of myself, take care of her, and she took care of me. Hmm. You found a way to live again. We sure did. Wasn't easy on either of us. I'm old, stuck in my ways, and Cash... Cash has wanted to change everything since she could talk. That's so sweet. Raising Cash taught me an important lesson. And you're going to tell me all about it, aren't you? Damn right I am. Parents aren't meant to be a goal, or a finish line. We're the starting line. Where you go from there, it's all you. That's true. Remember that. Yeah. Thanks, Track. That's a very nice conversation. Dr. Lexi, you have anything Pathfinder, else? you have new email. All right. You better not be trolling and lying to me again, Sam. Ryder? I saw another memory that Dad locked away. The day my mom died. I'm sorry, Ryder. Even in her last moments, Dad couldn't accept Mom's death. It's hard to let go of the ones we love. If you can't run from it, use it. Guess that's what he did. How do you think the crew is holding up? I'm happy to share what I can without violating patient confidentiality. Anyone in particular? I sort them in their files and my brain by species. Why do you sort them that way? Just easier for me to see patterns in behavior. 
Is Jal doing okay? Exposing Aksul has lifted a great weight from his shoulders. I can tell he was deeply touched by the trust you put in him. Is Drac good? He seemed conflicted since Elodin. Drac likes to think of himself as a fossil. Something from the past to look at and learn from. But you've shown him he has a lot left to live for. Thanks, Ryder. No problem. Is PB alright? She actually stopped by, voluntarily. She talked to you about Kalinda? No, she didn't really talk. Just made a face, then ran from the room. Well... But for her, that's a big step. Yeah, it's a big step. Tell me about Vetra. Vetra's top priority has always been her sister's safety. Now that Sid's growing up, their relationship is changing. It's not going to happen overnight, but they'll find a new rhythm. How's our Solarian? He's quite the gossip. Tight-lipped about himself, though. Thanks for the insight. How do you think the crew is holding? I'm happy to sh anyone in particular. I sort them in their files. How do you think the sh There's a lot of them. How's Cora doing? The thing with Sarissa hit her hard. Mm. But she'll be better for it in the long run. Yeah. How's Liam? All smiles. Varan's safe and you two got to play hero. At least he recognizes that he messed up. That's progress. That is progress. Suvi okay? Suvi's strong sense of faith keeps her grounded. I'm not spiritual, but there's a beauty in how her mind rationalizes religion and science. I agree. And last but not least... Gil? Gil likes to use humor as a defensive technique. He'd rather bury himself in the Nomad than tackle emotions head-on. Thanks for the insight. I'll let you get back to it. I'll be here if you need me. Okie doke. Anyone in here? Hora. Got a minute? I could use a favor. Okay. Sure. What do you need? I kept thinking about Sarissa and my not being a Pathfinder. And the thinking turned into a project on EOS. Can you help me finish it? Sure. What kind of project? I'll put the nav points in the helm. Come along and I'll show you. Okay. That Archon barely sees us as sentient. Strings people up like puppets. Didn't know Sam could do that to his Pathfinder. You sure you're okay? Physically, I'm okay. The rest, it was a lot to handle. Talk to Lexi if you need to. Or me. Thanks. Losing another Pathfinder is bad enough. Even with the Krogan safe. Sorry, rambling. Did you need me? Any more commando war stories? Tethys was our sniper. She was old, matriarch old, maybe more. Didn't show. One star hit an Elcor in the eye from two clicks away. Two clicks? That's a little scary. She was. Always seemed to be hiding something, but she kept us safe. Any more commando war stories? Not just now. I'll try to remember a good one. See you later, Cora. I'll be here. Comparative religious study meetup. We did these on the Nexus and they were always fun and interesting. Bring your own text to study or just come listen to others discuss theirs. Sign up below so we have a rotation for coffee. Suvi. Comment. Sign. Jal. Sign. Kalo. Oh, cool. Angaran word of the day. Visagra. Visagra, noun, literally uprooted people. Speak, used to speak impolitely of those from the Milky Way. Say Vesagara. Not as bad as it could be, spelled like it sneered. Liam, it is used mostly by the roll card. To be fair, one doesn't get more uprooted than a, being a galaxy away. Jal, is it Vesagara or Vesagara? Suvi. It's Leviosa, not Leviosa. Hey there, my pet. Let's see if we actually do have email. Sam, you liar. Liar, liar, liar. Let's change my wardrobe. I want to get back to my athletic wear again. At least for now. <laughs> 